Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me, to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh He's Toxic Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video, and this video is titled, Men Do Not Respect Nice Girls or Pick Me Women. Right, ladies? So men do not respect women who are too nice or especially a step further, even worse, a pygmy woman, right? So basically, you know, women who are too nice. Let's start off talking about women who are too nice. They kind of go hand in hand, but then they're also kind of, you know, different a little bit, right? Now, the nice girl is some women that are just too nice. They don't have no backbone. They just give and give and give and give until they have nothing left right? And a lot of men, unfortunately, they take advantage of nice women because they take your kindness for weakness. A lot of men, they will take your kindness as weakness. You think you being nice and kind and sweet and generous to this man whole time, he looking at you like you an easy target. He looking at you like, yeah, I can benefit off of her. I can use her. I can drain her. I can take everything from her and use her up till I can't use her no more, right? And a lot of times it's because you volunteering to be used. A nice girl and a pick me woman, they got something in common. They volunteer to be used. They think that they can go all out they way for a man just to make him happy and just to win him over and just to, you know, get the man to like her. And you desperate, you thirsty, you desperate, you pathetic trying to make this man like you. You think that by you going out your way and stuff like that, that's going to make him appreciate you. And a lot of times it don't. He only appreciate what you do for him. 
He don't appreciate you as a person, as a woman individually. His love for you is only conditional based off of what he can benefit from you and what you do for him. So he never actually love you for you. He never actually respect you for you. And quite frankly, how could he respect you? Because a lot of times it's like you are basically putting this man on a pedestal. You are just so attracted, so infatuated. You like this man so much that you will do anything just to have him. You crave this man. You think this man just tall, dark, and handsome. You say this man so handsome, he's so tall, he got a lot of money, or he's just an attractive guy to you. You just really like him. You're interested in him. But a lot of times, instead of you letting the man chase you and get to know you and invest into you and hunt you, a lot of y'all women, you end up hunting the man. And that's where the pick me woman comes into play. When you're the one chasing and hunting and pursuing a man. And you really got the order of the nature dynamic backwards. Men are hunters, not women. A woman is never supposed to chase after a man or hunt a man or try to, you know, prove herself to a man. A lot of y'all women, you do entirely too much to try to make a man happy and prove your worthiness to him. Meanwhile, he don't got to prove his worthiness to you because you already set what it is. You already show him, hey, I'm the prize as a man and she chasing me. She put me on a pedestal. She want my attention. She want me so bad. She willing to do anything to have me, right? This woman is bowing down to me. This woman is kissing the ground that I walk on. This woman is hunting me. She want me so bad. And you got to understand that a man cannot want you. A man cannot respect you. A man cannot chase you. If you chasing him, if you want him, how can I want you if you want me? Or I already know I can have you. If you not a challenge, you got to understand. Men are hunters and men like challenges. Men like women that I have to actually chase, hunt down, and conquer, and actually, you know, invest into. But if you come to me, if you come chasing after me, if you come, you know, lifting me up, putting me on a pedestal, if you treat a man like a celebrity, he will always treat you like a fan. If you treat a man like a king, a lot of times they'll treat you like a peasant. If you go all out your way for a man and he ain't going out the way for you, that's the problem. That's where the pick me woman is. The pick me woman got her hand. Pick me, pick me over here, over here, over here. Look what I can do. I can do anything or be anything you want me to be. And you just so desperate and pathetic. You all in this man's face trying to win him over or you in competition with the next girl. You see that this man is a ladies man or you see that this man is a player. You see that this man got a lot of women around him. This man is dating or talking to or a lot of women just attracted to him, period. And you trying to say, what can I do to stand out from the crowd? What can I do to win him over? What can I do to make him happy? How do I get this man to see me, notice me, instead of all these other women, right? And that's the problem right there. The problem right there is you not being yourself. You not secure in your own self. You chasing a man because you want him so bad, but you don't even know if this man even like you or not. You don't even give this man a chance to chase you. You don't even give this man a chance to, you know, see if he even like you. We know you like him, but do he like you? And that don't mean you go find out and see if he like you or not. You just got to chill. If a man like you, 
He will show you. He will pursue you. He will chase you. He will hunt you. But if you hunt a man, you just took his job away. That's a problem. A lot of y'all women problem is you take a man's job away. And that's why a lot of men that you see, you know, nowadays, they're more in their feminine energy. They're more sassy now, right? That's the word. You know, they like, I'm the prize. I want the woman to chase me. I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to take her out on no date. Just come over my house. I don't got to, you know, spend no money on her. You know, just come over. You know, I'm going to get the booty up front. Just come over. You know, and a lot of men don't respect women nowadays, period. It's because it's too many nice girls and it's too many pygmy women that's willing to do anything for the man and the men don't got to do nothing. That's why a lot of men, they got used to women chasing them. They say, I ain't got to chase no more. You know, back in the day, a man used to court, vet, and pursue and chase a woman. A man used to take a woman out on a date. You know, well, first, first, let's back up. First, he would get her number, right? A man would get your number first. Then, you know, he would contact you. He would call you, talk to you on the phone, you know, get to know you a little bit on the phone. Then he will set a date for y'all to go out on. He'll have reservations, all that. You know, either he'll pick you up or, you know, y'all meet somewhere. You know what I'm saying? If you're not comfortable with him picking you up, y'all just meet somewhere. He paid for the date. He not looking for you to pay. He 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 took you out on a date. He want to pay. Maybe he pull up with some flowers, you know, stuff like that. He opened the car door for you. Make sure you get in, get home safe. You know, let me know you made it in safe. Or at least when you're departing the, the restaurant or wherever y'all went on y'all date, when you leave, he making sure you get in the car, you're gone, you're okay, right? And or if he dropped you off, he makes sure you get all the way in the house and that you're safe, right? And then, you know, y'all go out on more dates, y'all talk more, and then, you know, it turned into a relationship eventually, right? Because this man is investing into you. He's spending money on you because he done took you out and he's spending time with you. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is a lot of women are accepting the bare minimum. The nice girl and the pygmy girl, they are accepting the bare minimum. They say, hey, I like this man so much, I don't need him to take me out on a date. In fact, I want to give him some booty up front just to seal the deal and make him like me. I want to go out my way for this man to seal the deal so he like me. Or I'm going to let this man treat me any type of way. You know, I'm going to let this man cuss me out, lie to me, cheat on me, put hands on me, you know, dog me out. I'm going to let this man do anything because he's so fine and he looks so good or he got a lot of money and I just need him by my side. And it's a lot of times it's because you don't even love yourself. You don't even respect yourself. You don't even value yourself. That's why you let this man walk all over you because you put this man on a pedestal higher than you. You put a man before you. You put him before your own self. And you can't never do that. And a lot of times it's because you're afraid of being alone or you got low self-esteem or you can't be by yourself. You know, you need a man to, to, to feed your ego or to give you some identity as a woman, or you just like this man so much and you're chasing him and stuff like that because you ain't never had a man on his level. You never had a man as tall as him, as handsome as him, or that got as much money as him that you don't want to mess it up. So you're terrified to leave or you're terrified to walk away or terrified to, you know, stand up to him, or you're terrified to just, you know, even let go of this man because you need him or you feel like you need him so bad and you'll never find another man like him, right? Or you don't feel like you can attract a guy of his caliper, right? A guy like him. You'll never find somebody like him. 
So you go all out your way to make him happy and he don't respect you because you don't respect yourself. If you gonna chase me, why, why am I caring about you? If you gonna fangirl me, you, hey, 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 how you doing? Hey, I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. What you need me to do? I'll be anything you want me to be, you know, and stuff like that. How can a man respect you if he already got you in the palm of his hands? This man got you wrapped around his finger, you know, as soon as he meets you. Where's the fun in that? Where's the chase in that? Where's the challenge? Where's the thrill? It ain't no thrill. It ain't no challenge. A lot of y'all women, you too easy. I'm going to put it just like that. It ain't nowhere else to put it. You too easy. You too desperate. You do too much to try to make this man happy or prove yourself. A real woman that know her worth don't need to prove her value. I'm going to say that one more time for those who missed it. A real woman that knows her worth does not need to prove her value to a man just to show her that she's valuable. Her value is already existing inside of her and it's up to that man to see your value. And if he don't see your value, then obviously he blind. If he don't see how good of a woman you are just by being you, you know, then he's obviously, you know, something wrong with him because you a good woman by yourself. You don't need to have to go out your way or try to prove yourself, try to prove your worthiness to a man. It need to be the other way around. You need to make this man earn your love. Make this man earn your trust. Make this man earn your booty. <laughs> Let Make this man earn you. Make this man earn your attention, your affection. Make this man earn your benefits. But if you giving everything away, and I barely know you just because you think I'm tall, dark, and handsome. And I ain't have to do nothing to get the booty. I ain't have to invest to get the booty. I ain't have to do nothing. You gave me the booty on the first night. How can I respect you? I didn't have to chase you. I didn't have to invest. I ain't had to do nothing. You came to me. So if you came to me, how can I value you? Who, who got more value? Who got more value, me or you? You chasing me. So I'm the king. I'm the prize. Yeah, woman, jump. Now he gonna take advantage of you. He gonna tell you jump, roll over, sit like a dog. He gonna tell you do this, do that, come here, sit down, roll over like a dog. He treats you like a dog because you allow him to treat you like a dog. That's why he tell you what to do and he try to control you and he walk all over you and stuff like that because you care so much about him that you just want to make him happy. But what about your happiness? What about how you feel? What about your self-worth? What about your self-dignity? What about you? You so busy trying to get this man to like you. You don't even like yourself. A lot of y'all women don't even like yourself. That's why you want him and you need his validation to approve of you. Because if you know your worth, a woman that knows her worth, knows her value, a woman that loves herself, a woman that respects herself, she don't need to chase no man. She knows her value. She said, the man got to come to me. If you want me, take me out. If you want to talk to me, you got to approach me. If you want to hear from me, you got to call me, text me. I'm not reaching out to no man first. I'm not texting no man. I'm not doing none of that first. You come to me. I'm the queen. I'm the prize. You come to me. But a lot of y'all women, y'all done messed it up for the real women. You know, the pick me women, pick me over here, over here. Yes, your highness. Yes, your majesty. What you need me to do? Anything you need me to do. You know, and the nice girls that give, 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 give and let the man walk all over her and don't have no backbone and that just do whatever the man says and that, you know, chase after a man. All of those women are messing it up for the good women because now a lot of men 
they run into easy women, the pick me girls and the nice girls. Now they start feeling like, hey, all women easy. If I got booty from this girl the first night, this girl the first night, this girl the first night, or I could take this girl for a walk in the park and get booty. I could take this girl for a $5 Starbucks coffee date, $10, you know, get a mocha frappuccino, and then I get booty for buying her a, a frappuccino and a bagel, and I get booty, you know? So why would I value any of y'all if I could keep getting booty from all these other women? If I can, you know, DM or inbox a woman on Instagram, and I can have that same woman come over my house that same night and give me booty, and I barely even talk to her. I barely even know this girl. I don't even know this girl. I don't even know this woman. All I know is her Instagram name or her Facebook name. And a lot of times, that don't even be, you know, your real name for real, you know? I don't even know her real government name. I don't even know her last name. I don't know nothing about this woman. She don't know nothing about me. But, you know, I got her number, talked to her real quick, and convinced her to come over my house the same night and give me booty, right? I met a girl offline or maybe on, you know, the dating apps, you know, Hinge, Tinder, whatever dating apps, you know, they be using or y'all be using, you know, Bumble, whatever dating apps a lot of women use, you know, a lot of men be using those dating apps just to get booty, and they know Hey, you know, if I swipe left, swipe right, swipe on a couple girls, and I match with a couple girls, one of them girls is going to give me some booty that same night. Because one of them girls got low self-esteem. One of them girls just happy to get some attention from a man. One of those girls are desperate, thirsty. One of those girls need a man, got to have a man, want to chase a man, got to have a man in her life and willing to do anything just to keep a man or to attract a man. So a man get on a dating app or he get on social media and it's an abundance of easy women. It's an abundance of pick me, pick me women. It's an abundance of women chasing him, wanting to do anything, you know, calling him, texting him, pursuing him, spending money on him, doing so much for him. It's an abundance of women that he dogging out, using. It's an abundance of women that he don't have to respect because these women don't even respect themselves. So when a man come up to you, a woman like you, a woman with some substance, a woman that knows her worth, it's like when he come to you with that same stuff, it don't work. And he want to get mad because he try to, he try to ask you, Oh, you know, just come over my house. Come over my house. Or let me take you for a walk in the park and not spend no money. Or let me buy you a $5 Frappuccino, $10, and get some booty after that. You know? And it's because it's been working with these other women, these easy women that don't require much to get the booty. The easy, cheap women, they cheap, they easy. You know, it don't, it don't take much to get the booty from them. So that's why a lot of men don't even take women out on dates no more. A lot of men don't even, you know, try. They don't put in no effort. They don't chase women no more. Men are not obsessed with women no more how they used to be. Because women is too easy now. It's too many easy women. And men got too much access to these easy women that why would I try? So now he think every woman easy. So when he come to you and he try to get booty from you and you turn him down, you know, he all in his feelings and stuff or he study pressing trying to get some booty from you because there's so many other women that's, that's willing to give booty the first night. No, no effort, no nothing. I got your number. I get booty the same night or the first time we meet up, we have sex. The first time we meet up, I'm already in your drawers. So how can I respect a woman or women, period, if the last 10 women that I that I found on a dating app or the, or the last 10 women on social media, Instagram, Facebook, or the last 10 women that I approached in the club or at the mall or at the grocery store or whatever, when I got their number, 
you know, I talked to them a little bit on the phone and they came over my house and I got booty from them. So if that, so if I got booty, 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 booty from all these women, why would I respect you? Because a lot of these women don't even respect themselves enough to close their legs and, and get to know the man and let the man get to know her for who she is rather than getting the body and getting out. That's why a lot of men, you know, they'll have sex with you one day and they'll, they'll ghost you the next day because that's all they wanted, you know? And you didn't make no effort or you was not a challenge. Men are hunters. You got to give him something to hunt. A lot of y'all women don't give a man nothing to hunt. It ain't no mystery. It ain't no chase. It ain't no pursuit. It ain't nothing. It's just booty easy, and I'm on to the next girl. I get booty from her, and y'all too easy, right? So y'all got to stop being pick-me women, and y'all got to stop being so easy, desperate, and thirsty for a man, and love yourself, and let the man chase you instead of you chasing up after a man, okay? So, ladies, without further ado, we're going to jump right to this video, right? And you already know, I'm going to give you my top five. Yes, five reasons why men do not respect pygmy women or nice women that are too easy and too desperate and that try to chase after a man that don't even like her half the time. All he wants is the booty, but you like him so much that you're willing to give it up so easy, right? Or anything else he wants. So we jump right to it. We go on number one. So number one, the first reason why men do not respect nice girls or pygmy women, number one is you try entirely too hard to impress him. Y'all women so thirsty trying to impress a man. I'm going to tell you what a thirsty woman, a pygmy woman, a nice girl, I'm going to tell you what you do. You over here cooking for this man. This man ain't took you out and spent no money on you, ain't did nothing. You over here cooking home-cooked meals for him. You know, you over here cleaning up his house. You go over his house. You shouldn't even be over his house, but you don't listen to me. So you go over his house. You start making his bed. You start pine sawing and light sawing and for breezing and Cloroxing his whole house. You end up, you know, making his bed, folding his clothes, doing his laundry, Washing his dirty drawers with the boo-boo stains in them. You over here, you know, doing so much trying to impress this man. Let me show him my wife qualities. I just want to show this man that I'm a wife. I want to show this man that I got wife qualities and maybe he will make me a wife one day. Maybe he will appreciate me. Maybe he will like me more. Maybe he will cherish me and value me more if I cook for this man, clean for this man, give this man booty whenever he want it, give this man booty on the first night we meet, give this man booty whenever he wants some, or even worse, money. I am so disappointed. I'm disappointed. Me, I'm disappointed in a lot of y'all women. Y'all women, y'all done messed the game up. You know, I be hearing stories about women. You know, I talk to women all day long. You know what I'm saying? All day long. But I be hearing stories that women be telling me that I just be shaking my head. Women be spending money on men that ain't spending no money on them. Or women be spending money on men that's broke and ain't got no money and that's cheap and don't want to spend no money. Oh, a lot of women are handing men money, giving him money. Paying for his stuff, paying for his bills, getting his haircut, buying him the new video game, buying him clothes, shoes, jewelry. A lot of women are spending money on a man that don't even like her. A lot of women are spending their hard-earned money trying to impress a man and he using her for the money. A lot of a lot of women are letting a man use their car. This man ain't got his own car. That's why I tell y'all stop dating these broke men, but y'all don't listen to me. So you go on ahead and you say, forget what Sid Pharrell say. I'm going to go date this broke tail man that ain't got nothing. And guess what? I'm going to let him ride around in my car, use up my gas and all that. And he ain't got no car. Or you let this man move in with you and he ain't paying no bills 
or he want to go 50-50 because he broke and he can't pay for the whole thing. So he broke and he can only afford 50-50. And, you know, you let, or you let this man move in and you paying all the bills. You paying for everything. And, you know what I'm saying? You trying to impress this man. Let me give him a, a spot to stay at so he can be with me. Let me build this man up and maybe he will appreciate me. That's the problem. Y'all women see a man as a project. A lot of y'all women, I'm going to call y'all out. You see a man as a project. You don't see him as, you know, a, a, a real man. You see him as something you can build up to be the man you want him to be. You know this man ain't got nothing. You know this man broke. You know this man is a bum, lazy. This man ain't got nothing to his name, but you want to fix him up, build him up, and you want to raise a man Silly, silly woman. You can never raise a man. A man needs to be a man on his own. He needs to go through his own trials and tribulations and his journey by himself without a woman. But you trying to build this man up thinking that he will appreciate you and value you because you got him out of this dark spot. This man was down on his luck. This man ain't have nothing, but you picked him up. You dusted him off. Now he's shining now. You polished him up. He's shining now. And guess what he do when he on his feet? The first thing a man do when he get on his feet is leave you, dump you, kick you to the curb. Bye. I used you for everything you got. I appreciate it. Thank you. But now I'm going to give everything you gave to me to another woman. I'm going to give everything you gave to me and I'm going to dump you, kick you to the curb because I'm done using you. You was volunteering to be used. You can't be mad at nobody but yourself because you thought that you cooking for this man, cleaning for this man, giving him booty, giving him money, you know, paying for stuff. You thought that was going to make him like you. And this man not going to like you for you. He only like what you do. So meaning once you stop doing for him, he don't like you no more. Once you stop giving him money, booty, emotional support, your time, your energy, your cooking, your cleaning, once you stop all that, he going to kick you out, out the door. He going to kick you to the curb. He out the door. He gone because he, he done using you. Or once he feel like he got enough, he'll still kick you to the curb because he done. And a lot of y'all women, you spending all your money on a man every time y'all go out on a date. Guess who, guess who spending the money? You, you paying for the date. You paying for the trips. You paying for the gifts. You paying for every time y'all hang out, you paying for it. You come out your wallet, out your purse for this man. Oh, it's okay, baby. Even though you broke and you ain't got nothing, I'm going to pay for it. It's okay. That's not okay. If you want a man to be protector and provider, then guess what? You got to let him protect and provide a lot of y'all women taking a man's job away how is the man going to be the provider if you provide it for him that don't make no sense you the one providing you the man a lot of y'all women you the man that's why this man act like a woman or that's why a lot of men are sassy nowadays because you the man you the one chasing him you the one calling and pursuing him you the one chasing him. You the one trying to impress him, trying to prove yourself to him. No wonder why a lot of men is lazy now. Y'all make it too easy. No wonder why a lot of men don't respect women now. Y'all too easy. No wonder why a lot of men are sassy or feminine now. Y'all women too easy. You know, you became the man and he became the woman. You the one paying for everything. You the one, you know, trying to impress him, trying to chase him, trying to prove yourself to him. And he don't got to do nothing. But all he got to do is show up and that's it. And just because he tall, dark, and handsome, you willing to drop your drawers, come out your wallet, and come out your refrigerator cooking and cleaning on the stove for this man you out here got the spray bottle and the and the and the swiffer and the vacuum you doing all this stuff for what he don't like you he only using you and you're volunteering to be used 
That's why they call it a pick me woman. Pick me, pick me over here. Look what I can do. Look at all my wifely qualities. And that's the problem right there. You trying to be a wife and this man ain't even made you his girlfriend yet. You trying to be a wife and you not a wife. You ain't got no ring on your finger. So what you doing all this for trying to make him happy? And why would I buy the cow if I could get the milk for free? You got to think like a man. If this woman doing everything for me up front, why would I make her a wife if I'm already getting wife qualities without making her a wife? That don't make no sense. That's backwards. I have not earned those privileges yet. I have not earned the right to even get those benefits yet. You know, but you give it to me so easy. Anything that's easy is not valuable. A Honda, a Toyota ain't valuable. A Rolls Royce, a Bentley, a Ferrari is valuable. A Porsche, a Mercedes, a BMW is valuable. Not a Nissan. A Nissan not valuable. A Kia is not valuable. Uh, a Hyundai is not valuable. You know what I'm saying? Those are everyday cars. But the cars that are valuable, they cost some money. The cars that are valuable, you got to have some good credit. <laughs> the cars that are valuable... You can't just be anybody just getting those types of benefits and driving those types of cars. Not everybody can afford a Mercedes. But if you're going to be a Mercedes at Honda prices, why would I respect the Mercedes at a Honda price? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that Mercedes? If it's a Mercedes, it shouldn't be that easy for me to get. If somebody could just walk up off the street with no credit, no money, and just get a brand new Mercedes... Is that Mercedes really worth anything? They're like, what's wrong with it? Why are you giving it to me for free? Something wrong with that car if you're giving it to me for free. You know? Something wrong with that woman if I get all these benefits for free. Anything that's worth anything, you got to put in work, put in effort to get it. That's why it's worth something because not everybody can get it. But if a man feel like I can get anything from any woman, then a lot of y'all women are not valuable. So put more value on yourself. Stop spending money on men. Stop cooking and cleaning for a man. Stop going all out your way. Pick me, pick me. Being super overly nice because nice girls finish last. Nice girls finish last, get walked all over and stepped on. And you trying to raise a man is only going to backfire in your face. Because all he going to do is give the next woman everything you put into this man, right? So that's number one. So number two, the second reason why men do not respect pick me women or nice girls, number two is you ain't got no boundaries. A lot of y'all women who are pick me women and nice girls, nice girls and pick me women don't have no boundaries. Meaning when a man lies to you, cheats on you, put hands on you, cuss you out, call you out your name, disrespects you, does anything to offend you, guess what you do? You be quiet and you sit there and you take it and you stay. You take it and you stay. This man that cheated on you one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty 10, 20 times with all these different women and you stay. You still there. You stay. And you got the nerve to complain about why you keep cheating on me? Why you keep letting me cheat on you? Why you keep lying to me? Why you keep letting me lie to you? Why you keep putting your hands on me? Why you keep letting me put hands on you? Why you keep, you know, disrespecting me, cussing at me, calling me out my name? Why you ain't left yet? Why you keep letting me do it? Why you keep sitting there and letting me bully you? If you gonna let me take your lunch money like a bully, why would I stop taking your lunch money? That don't make no sense. If you're not going to stand up to the bully, a lot of, a lot of the men that you dating right now is, is the equivalent to the bully at school. You remember the bully at school, the school bully that used to pick on the little kids or the, or the, or the weaker kids? The bully don't never pick on somebody they own size. The bully don't never pick on nobody that's going to actually get some pushback but that's the problem. 
Y'all don't give no pushback. Y'all are pushovers. A lot of y'all women are pushovers. You a pushover. You ain't got no backbone. You weak. You soft. You insecure. You don't know your worth. You let this man walk all over you like some stairs. You let this man talk to you crazy. You let this man disrespect you. Why? Because you don't love yourself. Why? Because you value him more than you value yourself. And you so afraid to stand up for yourself. That's why he don't care nothing about you because you don't respect yourself. He know he acting up. He say any woman that knows her worth, she would have been left me. Any woman that value herself, she not going to allow herself to go through this. She not going to allow me to cuss her out and cheat on her and lie to her. A woman that know her worth, a woman that got other options, a woman that value herself, she will cut me off in a heartbeat because she can have another man that she ain't got to go through this with. Or she can be by herself and not have to deal with none of it. But if you're going to sit there and stay and let the man dog you out, then I'm sorry, not sorry. You deserve to be dogged out. A man know who to try. If you let a man do it, you can't complain. If you let a man cheat on you and he keep cheating on you, you can't complain about it. You might as well be quiet and keep letting him cheat on you because that's what you've been doing anyways. You might as well be okay with it. And clearly you okay with it because you ain't went nowhere. Clearly you okay with him cussing you out and putting hands on you. You ain't went nowhere. Clearly you okay with him lying to you. You ain't went nowhere. But guess what? If you actually left and you actually loved yourself, you wouldn't allow him to disrespect you. So that's why men don't respect nice girls or or, or pick me women because y'all pushovers. You soft. You don't never stand up to a man. You don't never confront a man. You don't never check a man. You don't never tell a man what it is, what it's not going to be. You don't never say no. That's the problem. Y'all women have a hard time telling a man no. Because you feel like this man won't want to talk to you no more. Or you feel like he will be mad. Or you feel like, you know, he will be offended. Or, or he going to leave you. Or you feel like it's going to be some pushback with him. Or y'all might get into an argument. Or, you know, you might lose this man if you tell him no. No, you can't have my booty whenever you want it. I don't want to have sex. No, you can't ride around in my car. Get your own car. No, you can't live in my house and not pay no bills and, and I pay for everything. No, we can't go out and I pay for all this stuff. No, I'm not doing none of it. You got to do for me, matter of fact, you know, you got to pay for me. You should be the one, you know, doing for me, not the other way around. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all women, you need to stop volunteering to be used. And you need to stop allowing the man to walk all over you. And you need to learn how to say no. Stop saying yes. And guess what? You say yes to everything even when you don't feel like it. Or even when you don't want to. And guess all it's doing is making you depressed and more depressed and more depressed. Because you know you really don't want to do it. But you're so afraid of this man, you don't want to tell him, no, I don't feel like it. But when you stand up for yourself, you can't care. You should not care. If he get mad, he get mad. And if a man get mad that you set boundaries, then that means that he's not a good man for you anyways. That's a man you shouldn't be with anyways because all he want to do is control you and have power over you and dominance over you. But you can't do that. You need to take the power back. From a man and put the power in your hands and walk away and leave him or check him, no contact or stand up to him and let him know how you feel. And you can't be afraid of losing a man. You need to be more afraid of losing yourself. Right. So that's number two. So number three, the third reason why men do not respect nice women or pick me women. Number three is. You compliment him and give him too much validation. What I tell y'all women all the time, absolutely no compliments. 
Don't be telling this man, you so handsome, you so fine, I really like you, I had a wonderful time tonight, you're just an amazing man, you just so fine, I like your shirt, I like your pants, I like your shoes, I like your nice car, wow, this nice car is like a spaceship, look at all the buttons in here, wow, it's so nice, look at this nice car. Wow, I like those shoes. Those shoes are real nice. I like that jewelry. Look at that nice watch you got on. Ooh, that's a nice watch. It look expensive. Wow, look at this. Look at that. You so handsome. Wow, you so strong. Look at your muscles. Look at the muscles on your arms. Wow, you got some, you got some strong arms. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at how desperate and thirsty you are. You try so hard to hype this man up. You trying to hype him up. You trying to butter him up. He know what you doing. Even if you genuinely, you know, you feel like Sid, but what if I really just like whatever? Keep your compliments to yourself. Because a lot of these men, they prey on women that give them compliments. Meaning, if you give me compliments, you boosting up my self-esteem. You boosting up my ego. All you doing is making me more big-headed and big-headed and big-headed. And now he arrogant. Now he feel like... I'm the king of the world. That's why a lot of men are narcissistic. You always ask Sid, why are these men so narcissistic? Because women like you be gassing men up, calling them handsome every five minutes, saying, I miss you. I miss you. When I'm going to see you again, I like you a lot. I care for about you so much. I want to see you again. You know, I like your shirt. I like your pants. You so tall. How tall are you? Wow, you're so tall. Oh, wow. Oh, you look so good. I bet you got all the girls, huh? You got all the girls. Oh, yeah. You so thirsty and desperate. That's why this man getting more big-headed and big-headed, and that's why he looked down on you. You wonder why a man treat you how he treats you. Because you put him up on a pedestal. Every time you call a man handsome, you call him, you know, attractive. You say you like his car. You say you like, you know, everything about him. You miss him. You like him. You love him. And he not even your man. You doing all this to impress him. You He know why you doing it. He know why you doing it. A lot of men know. I'm going to tell you, as a handsome man myself, a very handsome man myself, I'm going to tell you, I already know I'm handsome. You don't have to tell me that I'm handsome. And then, you know, when a lot of women are telling you that you're handsome, all they do is just, you know, reiterate what you already feel about yourself. And you, and you look at women like, oh, yeah, I know I can have you. Oh, yeah, you already impressed by me. I didn't even have to do nothing. All I had to do was show up. With my handsome face, and you finna drop your draws just because I'm handsome. That was easy. Too easy. Too easy. I already got the draws. In my mind, I already got the draws. Because if you find me attractive, you find me handsome, that means that you will probably have sex with me. You will probably give me some booty if it came down to it. Because you find me so attractive, sexually attractive, so you would have sex with me. Duh. If you find a man sexually attractive, I like your muscles. I like your, your beard. It's so nice. You so handsome. I know those are qualities that women say when they find a man sexually attractive. If you find me sexually attractive, you would have sex with me if, you know, it came down to it. Meaning I already know in my mind I can get the booty whenever I want it. Too easy. You're not a challenge. You're not a chase. You're not a mystery. A lot of y'all women, you you took the fun out of everything. You're not a mystery. You know, you got to give a man a mystery, something to think about. Let his mom wonder, did she like me? Did she not like me? Did she think I'm handsome? Did she, did she, what, what did she think about me? I don't know. You know, I mean, she here, you know, she here. She, she, she letting me pursue her. She letting me chase her, but she not all over me. She not chasing me. She not thirsty. So how do I get her, you know, to like me? What I got to do to raise her interest? What I got to do to win her over? Now the man chasing you because he don't know your interest level. When you give a man so many compliments or you give him so much validation, he know your interest level. So now he know I ain't got to try hard because this woman, she too easily impressed. 
I pulled up with my nice car and she finna drop her drawers just cause, wow, oh my gosh, look at this nice car. It's so nice in here. Got her, got her, ding, 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 got her. Guess what? Why you think I got the car? Silly, silly woman. Why you think I got the car? I got the car to get the draws. When I pulled off the lot in this nice car, I already knew, hey, I'm gonna get all the girls with this car. When I got this nice, this nice necklace on or this nice watch on, I said, I'm gonna get all the girls with this fancy watch and, and, and this jewelry. When I put on this Louis Vuitton Gucci shirt, when I, when I'm handsome and I know I'm handsome, I know already I'm gonna get all the girls. But when you validate that or when you confirm that, that's the whole reason why I got this haircut. To attract women like you. That's the whole reason why I make myself look good because I know women are gonna like it. I know I'm going to attract women. I got this nice car because I know I'm gonna attract women. I got all this stuff to attract women. Why do you think I got it? So when you compliment a man, all you're doing is confirming what he was doing anyways. Why do you think he did all that stuff? To, to get desperate women like you that's easily impressed by a car, easily impressed by a man's height, easily impressed by a handsome man with a nice beard, easily impressed by nice clothes and all that. You so easy. I didn't have to do nothing. All I had to do was show up and, you know, show you what I got and flash some stuff in front of you and you about to drop your drawers that easy. So no compliments and no validation, period. I don't care what nobody say. Do not give no man no compliment. If he not your boyfriend, if he not your husband, no compliments. I'm gonna say that one more time. If he is not your boyfriend or your husband, don't be giving this man no compliments. And even if he is, still kind of keep it to a minimum. Don't be saying you handsome every five minutes, okay? Because that's still thirsty. But at least let him be your man. If he's not your man, then now you just desperate, okay? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth reason why men do not respect pygmy women and nice girls, number four is you be over here chasing this man for his attention. So you over here calling this man first, chasing his attention. Why this man, you know, how do I get his attention? Why he not calling me? Or you even ask him, why you don't call me? Why you don't text me? Why you don't see me? Why you don't want to hang out? Why you don't take me out? Why, why, why? What can I do? What did I, can, can you talk to me? Can you text me? Can you see me? Why, why, what's going on? Look at you, pathetic, desperate woman begging this man for his attention. Guess what? I'm going to tell you. Since he not going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. He didn't text you because he ain't want to. He didn't call you because he ain't want to. He didn't plan no dates with you because he ain't think he was worth it. Or he was broke and couldn't afford no dates. Or he ain't want to, period. He ain't do none of that. He ain't want to see you. He not consistent with you. He not giving you no attention because he didn't want to. Because you don't got his attention. Because guess what? He not interested. If a man is interested in you, you already got his attention. You don't have to try to get a man's attention that's already interested in you. If he's interested in you, he will give you attention by default automatically because he's interested. But if he don't want to do none of that, don't be begging no man to see you. Don't be begging no man to contact you. Or better yet, you better not. I better not ever catch y'all women calling a man first, texting the man first, or trying to take a man out on a date. Don't you ever call a man first. Every single time, until this man is your boyfriend, until he your man officially, you better not pick up that phone and call him first. You better not pick up your phone and text him first. Why? Because now he know, oh yeah, this woman was thinking about me. If she thinking about me, she like me. I got her wrapped around my finger already. I already got her attention. I'm already on her mind. That was too easy. But guess what? If you don't call a man first, if you don't text a man first, now he got to think about you. Now he got to say, oh, what's she doing right now? Oh, I wonder what she got going on. Let me call her. Let me text her. Now he pursuing you and he thinking about you. But if you take his job away from him and you beg for his attention, look at this begging girl on her knees, begging like a dog, 
to try to get my attention. Look at how valuable I am. I'm the king of the world. I got this woman bowing down, begging me on her knees. Please, please take me out. Please call me. Please text me. Please come see me. Please, please, please. Why you don't want to see me? Why you don't want to call me? Why you whining, begging and complaining? And guess what? The reason why he not doing it is because he don't want to. You should never have to beg a man for his attention. If a man like you, he will give you attention. If he don't like you, then he don't like you. Then move on. Don't try to force or chase after a man to get him to like you or to get his attention. Don't feel like you in competition with other women trying to push other women out the way to get to him. If he don't like you and he don't notice you outside of all them other women, then he not the one for you, period, right? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why nice girls finish last and so do pick me women. Number five is you put his feelings before your own feelings. So this man can do anything. This man, like I said, can lie, cheat, put hands on you, cuss you out. He can use you for your money, use you for your for your booty, for your cooking, your cleaning, your time, your energy. This man using you and then he turn around and dog you out and you never leave because you value him so much. You put him on a pedestal. You don't feel like you'll ever find another man better than him. You feel like you'll never find another man, period. You got low self-esteem and you put this man feelings over your feelings. What about your feelings? What about how you feel? What about your self-worth, self-dignity? A lot of y'all women are depressed. You depressed and he happy. You trying so hard because you a people pleaser. A lot of nice girls, nice people are people pleasers. And pick me women are definitely people pleasers or man pleasers. You a man pleaser. You want to please a man even if you not pleased. You want to please a man even if he don't care to please you. You want to make a man happy, but who making you happy? You want to you wanna put a man on a pedestal, but he don't put you on a pedestal. He look down on you and step all over you, but you keep holding him up, you know, and valuing him, but he don't value you. You respect him, but he don't respect you. You love him, but he don't love you. You like him, but he don't like you. You want to go out your way for him, but he don't go out his way for you. It's always one-sided. You the only one doing all the work and he don't do nothing. He sit back and kick his feet up. He, he, he sit back and he don't do nothing. So guess what? Why would I value a woman that's chasing me? Why would I value a woman that don't value herself? Matter of fact, she value me more than she value herself. She ain't got the guts to leave me. She ain't got the nerve, the courage to leave me. She don't even think she can do better. So I got all the power. So you can't give a man the power over you. You got to keep the power and you need to cut this man off when you feel disrespected. You need to stop giving yourself away to a man that don't pour into your cup. You pouring into his cup and now you got an empty cup and his cup is full, but he won't never pour back into you. And that's the problem, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five reasons why a man will never respect a nice girl or a pick me woman, right? So ladies, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me and I'm out of here. So, till the next video.